today we'll be making some jam tarts and some lovely pastries. Pastries I'm making, I'm going to use salmon, which is a tin fish in Sri Lanka. I'm going to top it up with some mashed potatoes and cheese. Starting off with some flour, baking powder and salt. Mix it all well and then add the egg and some Knead it well with some ice water. Cover and leave to rest. Making the filling now. I'm using some onions, green chilies, pepper salt and some tuna or salmon or any kind of meat that you like to use. Just mash it up with the spoon. That works fine. I'm going to make some white sauce to mix with the fish. It tastes better and it's moist and lovely for the paste. My white sauce is thick, nice and ready now. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. Adding the white sauce to the fish and mixing it. It's a white big dish. You can make a big Dividing my flour into two, leaving aside a small piece to make some jam tarts later. Put the filling like this, making a circle and a bigger circle around it. Roll out the dough and put it on top. Use a bowl or a lid to make the shape like Cut it into four equal sides. Then keep dividing it according to the number of petals you like to have in your flour. Just twist it and turn it like a petal and open the petals out. Now I'm going to add some mashed potatoes with cheese on top of the petals to give it a beautiful bright color. Since it's a sunflower, I used yellow the last time so I wanted to do a change but I didn't think red worked really well. I think you better stick to yellow. Keep adding a generous teaspoon of mashed potatoes on each petal. You can never get enough of mashed potatoes. Well, now the egg wash on top and around the petals. Just make a few holes for the yard to escape with a fork. You can sprinkle some sunflower seeds, poppy seeds or some sesame seeds. Today I'm using some poppy seeds. I got these poppy seeds and I didn't know what to do for the longest time. Thought of using it today. Now let's make some jam tarts. These are my son Mirage's favorite. I'm using the saved up dough that I kept a tiny piece and I'm going to put some strawberry jam on top. And the remaining dough I'm not going to waste. I'm going to put some tiny hearts on top. After all, we are going to serve this with some love. So I'm going to place my cute little hearts. Actually, these heart shaped cookie cutters are really useful. It's worth investing on one. I have baked both my pastry and my jam tarts and they are ready to be served. Looking gorgeous and colorful. Let me know what you think of it. 